Just then, the April CPI inflation numbers just came out and they came in lower than expected month over month at 0.3% compared to the 0.4% expected. And then core CPI, which is minus volatile food and energy, came in as expected at 0.3% month over month. And then the year over year numbers, CPI came in at 3.4% as expected. And then core CPI minus volatile food and energy came in at 3.6% as expected. Uh, this combined with retail sales being unchanged from the prior month. Uh, this is something that the Federal Reserve wants to see. The fact that these numbers came in as expected is good news because the market was fearing that the higher than expected inflation from the first quarter uh, will continue in, into April. So um, this what should alleviate the market's fears, in my opinion, the fact that these numbers came in as expected. You know, the first quarter, those numbers came in uh, much hotter than expected. So uh, this is a breath of fresh air, in my opinion. Uh, especially so because even if these numbers for April came in hotter than expected, ultimately what the Federal Reserve says is more important. Um, if the Federal Reserve was willing to tolerate hotter than expected April numbers, that was that would be more important than the actuality of hotter uh, April numbers. Uh, you know, it's more important what the Fed does and says. Uh, rather than the actual data at this point in the business cycle, in my opinion. So if the Federal Reserve was willing to tolerate hotter inflation numbers, that would be okay, in my opinion. So even if we had a hotter print, that would have been okay. But luckily, that wasn't the case. Luckily, we had, as expected, pretty much across the board, with lower than expected month over month, uh, combined with retail sales being unchanged, this is great news, and markets should hit all-time highs today, in my opinion.